Hey everybody, it is Rolly, and I am jumping on to catch you guys live to be able to pull some cards. So today's, I'm going to be using, I've been doing a lot of uh, sharing information about the moon um, and that kind of thing. So today I'm using the Queen of the Oracle Moon, uh, the Queen of the Moon Oracle. So this is a new deck um, for me. I've used it a couple of times, but it is a brand new deck that I am still um just getting familiar with but i really love it like so like this is the uh this is what the pick images look like good morning kai good morning tina your ta your ta um tablet is charged obviously so like look at those like these are pretty incredible so i'm going to <coughs> so i'm going to share cards pull cards for people today so i am going to go through my list and if you are new then let me know as we speak perfect um and let me know as you are as we're going along as to whether or not you would like a card i'm also going to pull our weekly group cards so i pull three weekly group cards as well as an individual card if somebody would like one and absolutely kayla so I will add you. So I'm starting with Tina this morning. And Tina's got a couple of jumpers. And again, for anybody who's new, a jumper for me is a card that jumps out when I am trying to um, shuffle. And so that tells me that I am. Um, Where'd it go? So I'm just going into the group because if somebody, good morning, Lori. So if somebody is in my Facebook group, then I'm not going to be able to see their comments. So I'm just going in there because I haven't gone live um, to do card pulls in a while <clears throat> in the group. Oh, and Facebook is so funny. It's not even showing that I'm live in the group. Facebook drives me crazy sometimes. Yeah, it's not showing up live in the group. <clears throat> eventually, hopefully, eventually it will. But for now, it's not showing up. So, but I'm going to get going. Okay, so Tina, your first one is fear. And so this is the waning gibbous two. So waning gibbous two is your first card. And so, um, so I, it has an affirmation that I'm going to share with you. So fear, the affirmation for that one is I am courageous. So that is your first one. So I am courageous. And then the affirmation for the next one is... So you have resilience is your other card. <clears throat> so this one here is your other card. Like, look at that. I love the details on this card. Um, so the affirmation for that one is I am strong and resilient and super attraction. So the super moon attraction is the next one. So 44. So the affirmation from that one is I can attract what I wish and I repel what I do not. So that is, those are your cards this morning, Tina. So those are your affirmations that go with those cards. So they have, uh, so I really love, like I said, I really love them. They are pretty great. So I just, uh, I'm mixing up the three cards because for whatever reason, I didn't stick them in the center of the deck like I normally do. So, Francine, tu es la prochaine. I'm going to pull yours. So, how's everybody's week been? So, I am all about the moon this week. And so, I am in several different groups. And so, in all of the groups, I am sharing about the moon. 
I'm just finishing up in the Kirkland Lake visual, um, virtual market, I should say. Uh, I shared a link for you, hugs. Oh, thank you. Um, so spot on once again. Awesome. I just love how it just happens, right? So it's not that I have like any type of magical powers. Those just the cards that you need to hear come up. So Francine, yours is the masculine. Oh, awesome, Kai. So Lunar God is, so the Lunar God is the masculine. And we were like looking at this one, um, one of our older ladies that are in the group. She was like, wow, this is the card that I got. But like, I love how he's got like all the lunar cycles moving all at the top. <clears throat> Oops, on this side. So it's pretty cool. So the masculine, so number 42. So your affirmation for this week is may the positive attributes of the masculine align with me. So that is your affirmation this week, Francine. So I'm going to call Melissa. Melissa, tu es la prochaine. <coughs> So Melissa, there's so much to learn about the about the moon, Kai. So I've been doing this learning more for the last four years because I would do a lot of like new moon, full moon kind of stuff. But I've been learning so much about the rest of the phases for the last four years. And it's pretty incredible. Like there's so much to learn. So assessing. And and every day is a new experience with the moon because it all depends on whatever else is kind of lining up with it. So it's actually pretty cool. <clears throat> so you've got the first quarter moon. Absolutely, Chris, I can do that. Okay, so a sun, a set, assessing. So assessing and your affirmation for this card, Melissa, is I am enjoying moving and choosing, moving and choosing. So that is your message this week. So Melissa. And then Aline. Encore sur la prochaine. And still not showing up live in the group, which is kind of weird. Gonna have to get a hold of StreamYard to say, hey, what's going on? Because <clears throat> it's still just showing, planning to go live, but it's not actually showing the live. Really weird. Really, really weird. Okay, so Alien, yours is release. So 27. So this is the Waning Crescent 4 card. So I freely release what I no longer need. So that is yours. I freely release what I no longer need. So that is Alain. So Laurie Gervais. Laurie Gervais. Elle est la prochaine. We have lots of French people on today. Real, re, realization. Apparently I had trouble saying that word. Realization. Oh, wow. Look at that keyhole. That is pretty cool. So that is the waning crescent one. And your affirmation that goes with that one is, I am, I have timely, um, apparently I need glasses for this one. I have timely self-awareness and act upon my realizations. So that is that one. <clears throat> so that is your message, Lori. Ah! And Kai, you've got like jumpers, you've got cards flying all over the place. So Kai, 
you have at least three messages. Ooh, the path. Ooh, look at that one. So you've got the path, and then you've got attraction. And I'm going to go back and pull your affirmations in a second. So you've got attraction, and then the other one is wisdom. So those were your messages. So number eight. So the path is, and that's this one. So I am open and responsive to the, op uh, I am open and responsive to the opening of the way. So I am open and responsive to the opening of the way. And then you've got the super moon, which is the attraction. Why is there such a glare on there today? Attraction. And so that affirmation is <clears throat> I can attract what I wish and I repel what I do not. And then wisdom, your affirmation for that one is I use my knowledge and experience to make wise decisions. So those are your messages for this week, Kai. So Kai, so I'm gonna pull Christine's card next. <coughs> <coughs> Got lots of throat stuff going on this week. You're welcome, Kai. Faith. Beautiful. So that one there is the warm moon. So faith. Number 31. I know all will be well. So faith. I know all will be well is your affirmation this week. So Miss Maddie, you're next. In both of them, it's not showing that I'm actually live. Really weird. So <clears throat> I'll have to go back after to see whether or not the replay actually shows up on there. So Miss Maddie, you have a jumper. Ooh, you've got sovereignty. And that's the same image that's on the front of the deck. So sovereignty is, your affirmation is, I reign over my own realm. And then you've also got creation. Like, look at that one. I really, really love the images on this one, on this deck. So, <laughs> not that I don't love the images on the rest of the decks either. It's like, oh yeah, this is my favorite deck when I'm using it. So I am a mighty creator, creatrix. So you are mighty creatrix and it is my birthright to create. And so that goes with sovereignty. So those are your messages this week, Miss Maddie. So Michelle, I'm going to pull yours next. Ooh, nice. Blossoming. So this is the flower moon. So number 33. Okay. I wonder if that will help. It's like super, super cloudy today. So 
so uh, 33. I obviously don't use overhead lights very often. So blossoming is this one. So yeah, that actually helps a lot better. I joyfully blossom and I feel no fear. So that is your message, Michelle. So um, I will catch, pull your card. So Amelie, or Mystic M on her Facebook page. Ooh, the void, the dark moon. So the dark moon is where you are, which is like perfect timing in terms of where we are in the cycle. So I freely release what I no longer need. That, so that is in the void. And then you also had realization, which is waxing crescent one. So number three. So I have a time, I have timely, I have timely self-awareness and act upon my realizations. So that is your message. So there you go, Miss M. So Tracy with an I, you are next. So Tracy with an I. Hopefully you guys are having much nicer weather. We had like super, super winds last night. It was like freaking crazy. <clears throat> I can hear things blowing all over the place. Good morning, Tracy. Perfect timing. I was just saying, I was wondering what your weather was like. Ours is like super blistery, windy, dark. Surrender. Good morning, Lori. Surrender. So that is the waning crescent three. And your and there's no jumper for you today. It's cold here now, and we are getting our first snow this weekend. Oh yeah. I'm hoping I know that there has been some talk about snow, but I'm hoping we don't have any. That we don't get any. So I let go, I surrender my struggle, and I allow the universe to work through me. And that is your affirmation today but surrender. That is your message for the week, Tracy. And I think this is the first time in a long time that you didn't get a jumper. So Penny, you're next. Ooh, nice, nourishment. So nourishment, so number seven. So that is the waxing crescent five. Seven, so nourishment. I choose to nourish myself. So Penny, that is your message this week. I choose to nourish myself. <clears throat> and there are so many ways. You're welcome, Lauren, Tracy. Um, there are so many ways to nourish ourselves. So Sarah Smith, you are next. And you've got a jumper this morning. I really, really like this deck. Um, I was actually trying to avoid <laughs> getting the deck because I have more than enough, I think. But, you know, because so like... These top two are filled. So the second one has like a row in the front um, and then a row in the back. So I have like, I think I definitely have more than enough. But, you know, Brooklyn comes up with some like really great, great books. <clears throat> so Sarah, you have two jumpers. So you have the blue moon, which is the unexpected. So the unexpected. <clears throat> So 43, I trust in myself and in my life. So I trust in myself and in my life. So that is your first one. And then the next one is boundaries. 
that is such a hard one. And this topic has come up a lot this week. So boundaries, including for me. So being able to set boundaries and removing obstacles or things that really do not, that just cause a whole lot of anguish. So number 12, so boundaries. <clears throat> so I can say yes with authenticity and clarity. And then you have growth because no is a complete sentence. And sometimes we struggle with that one without feeling guilty. So uh, growth. So your other message is growth. I choose growth. So that is your affirmation. So I choose growth. So those are your messages, Sarah. <coughs> Zian Dename. Zian Dename. We have our chakra balancing class tonight. So we're going to do some chakra balancing work. And I think that I definitely need to do some clearing on the throat because there's been a lot of people that I have been dealing with this week that my throat has been constantly <coughs> or completely blocked. So Zian, I think you got this one already. So your first one, because you got a jumper, so protection. So that's the waning crescent one. <clears throat> I am loved and protected. So I am loved and protected. And then the next one is the communication chakra. Yeah, it's definitely something that has been going on a lot. So I think in chakra balancing, Tonight, I'm going to focus on the throat chakra. So the wolf moon, and I think you already got this card, Zian. <clears throat> so I recognize all that I hunger for. So I recognize all that I hunger for. So that is your affirmate. Those are your affirmations for this week. Kayla, you're next. <clears throat> So Kayla, <clears throat> Kayla, you have wisdom. So your affirmation for this week is I use my knowledge and experience to make wise decisions. So that is your message. So I use my knowledge and experience to make wise decisions. <clears throat> so Tracy, <clears throat> oh my goodness, I gone. So Tracy, Miss Trey, you have a jumper. Oh, you have two jumpers. Three jumpers. Very beautiful, Kayla. So, and we will talk more about your um, your chart. So I have a couple of reports to do for this afternoon, Kayla, and then after that, I'll reach out to you. And if you're around, then available, then we'll uh, we'll chat about your chart. <clears throat> okay, so Miss Trey, you've got lots of jumpers today. So you've got abundance, which is the hunter moon. So number 38. So I am abundant and I am surrounded by opportunity. And then you've got balance. So balance is... <clears throat> I seek and maintain healthy balance in life. So I seek and maintain a healthy balance in life. And then you've got growth. I choose growth. So 
So that is your other message. And then you've got acceptance. So acceptance is I am where I am and who I am right now. So those are your messages. So now I'm going to pull our next group card, our first group card, I guess. <clears throat> so our first group card with our affirmation. And then Lori Blair, you are next. After we pull our first group card. Ooh, release. Release is the message that we have. So release is, I freely release what I no longer need. So let it go. It is the time to release anything that does not serve you. Old negative habits do not engage you anymore as the payoffs, um, as the payoff is not enough. You are ready to make room for bigger, brighter, and more aligned things. So that is our first group message. <clears throat> so, Lori Blair. Ooh, you've got the void. So, the void was. I accept. Oops, no, that's not it. I freely release what I no longer need. That is a great group card. Um, so I release what I no longer need. So that is your first, or that is your message for this week, Lori. And so release. And I'm going to write it down because I want to make sure that I have the affirmations handy when I review all of the, the ones at the end. So release what I no longer need need <clears throat> you're welcome Lori and Jill do you have a jumper ooh I haven't seen this one so purity white as snow Oh, actually, it's the snow moon. <laughs> How ironic is that one? They chose that one very well. So it's, I know why I do what I do. So your message is, so it's purity, is I know why I do what I do. And then you also have the wolf moon. And so the wolf moon was... Um, is hunger. So I recognize all that I hunger for. So those are your messages this week. Jill. Those are your affirmations and your message. <clears throat> Shelly, you are next. So the moon always has some incredible messages. And I really like this deck. Like this is guidance through the lunar and um, seasonal energies is what um, the end of it. And the author is Stacy DeMarco. So Shelly, you have growth. And you have the void is your other one. <clears throat> so growth is number five maybe if it'll let me open it so i choose growth is your affirmation for that one and then for the void is i freely release what i no longer need so i choose growth and i freely release what i no longer need that is a pretty awesome message as well so shauna you are next So 
Shama is the path. So the path. So waxing crescent six. That's number eight. So your affirmation, Shauna, is I am open and responsive to the opening of the way. So that is your message. It is a wonderful group card. I really like that one. We need to release often, and we don't do that enough. <clears throat> so Mary, that was not a jumper card because it was half the deck. So... I don't think, well, you might need half the deck of messages, but we would be here all day if that's <laughs> what was going on. <clears throat> but we do have that jumper. Okay, so Mary, your first one is creation. And that is the, bell, the beaver moon. So the beaver moon, balsama, or the creation. So your affirmation is, I am a mighty creatrix, and it is my birthright to create. Oh, yeah, Maddie had that one. I remember now. Oh, and you've got the masculine. So that masculine energy is something that we all carry in us. And it's that action taking. That is our solar plexus. So the lunar god. So may the positive attrib attributes of the masculine align with me. So, and I still love those moons at the top. So that is your message. Oh, psoriasis in the back of my head or eczema. Eczema, I think it is. Um, Lonnie. Oh, I guess I can't look in the book. <laughs> I have to find the card first. Can't read your affirmation if I don't know what the card is. So, Miss Lonnie, you are next. Faith. Miss Lonnie, you have faith. 31. Hopefully, I will see you today at the shock balancing, shocker balancing. So, I know all will be well. I know all will be well. So that is your message. And I'm going to pull the next group card. So the first one is release. And what is our second one going to be? Ooh, sovereignty. So that is our next group card. So sovereignty. So the queen of the moon. So sovereignty is, I reign over my own realm. You have sovereignty over your own life. Act with grace and confidence. You have the ability to unite disparate people and views um, you have the ability to unite disparate people and views should you choose to do so. The buck stops with you. You are powerful. Act like it. So sovereignty. So I reign. Apparently I can't spell sovereignty. I had to keep looking. My own realm. Okay. So that is our second root card. We do. We are so more powerful than we think that we are. And we get wrapped up in stuff sometimes. But that's the human side of us, right? So, so next is Bailey. So Bailey, you are next. So I've got Pay Bailey, Kathy, Marianne, and Vicki. So if somebody else is on and you wanted a card, please let me know and I will pull your card. But otherwise, I have the four of them left and then our last group card. So creation. So you have creation as well. So creation, Bailey, is... 
Your affirmation is, I am a mighty creatrix. It is my birthright to create. So that is your message. So Kathy, ma belle Kathy, tu as la prochaine. Kathy's message is, so for anybody who has been following, um, one of the things that I'm going to be doing, following all the moon phase stuff that I've been sharing. And so one of the things that I'm going to be doing is um, going on live tomorrow to be able to have a moon talk. So like anybody that has any questions, um, so many repeat cards. And it really happens a lot, Tina that those same messages come up often because some of the other people that are in the group, even though it wasn't a card specifically designated for them, is a card for them. So Marianne, extremities or extremes, extremes. So Marianne, and I don't know why I ended up skipping but I did, and so and I trust my instincts, so extremes. I handle extremes with grace, yet I seek balance in all things. So that is your affirmation this week, Marianne. And like I said, I don't know why I ended up skipping over Kathy, but I just did. So I'm gonna go to Vicki next, and then I'll come back to Kathy. Because <clears throat> I don't know why I ended up skipping over her, but said I trust my instincts whatever it is that happens just happens ooh resistance so Vicki you've got some resistance going on so number 25 so your affirmation this week is I flow through resistance and I am in control so I flow through resistance and I am in control so that is your message this week, Vicki. So Kathy, I'm going to go back to you. So Kathy Walton. Like I said, I don't know what happened, but for whatever reason, it was like, nope, not time for Kathy. It's time to go to Marianne. Ooh, fear. Fear. So the waxing giveth to... So number 11, I am courageous. So fear, I am courageous. You're welcome, Marianne. So I am courageous. So now I'm going to pull our last group card. <clears throat> But anyway, what I was saying is that we're going to do Moon Talk tomorrow night at 8 so that anybody who has any questions, and I'm going to do some screen sharing. So I know that some people have been trying to figure out what are their moon, their other cycle, or their other signs. And so I'm going to, um, if people are okay with it or whoever it is that wants to, I will actually pull a pull up their chart so that you actually have the three things and show you how to be able to pull up your chart in the um, to be able to get your free um, birth chart and then of course I still do a full reading a natal report but that is uh, so that you can at least find out what those three signs are so discernment this is our last group card, so discernment. <clears throat> so I take my time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. So this one here is take care, uh, take care in your choices now. Look carefully and judge wisely. There may have been some difficulty to see something that has been obscured, but now it has been revealed to you. Examine it closely. And that's really interesting because there is something that has come up for me um, this weekend that it was like, oh, my God. So I take my time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. So that is our last one. So I take 
my time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. Okay, so our first one is release. And our um, affirmation for that one is I freely release what I no longer need. Sovereignty is I reign over my own realm. And discernment is I take time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. So those are our group messages for this week. And so Kai, in the, I know that you're in, I, th I think you're in the Holistic uh, Wellness Lounge. Um, but if you want to go there, um, or if you go onto the, um, onto my YouTube channel, if you're not in that group, in that Facebook group, I'm actually going to go and pull up the link for the YouTube channel one, because Facebook is being funny and it's not showing up. So I'm going to go and pull that one up. So that at least if you can't find it on the Facebook group, that you'll at least be able to go on there. Um, there it is. <clears throat> Shareable link. Okay, so I'm going to share this link. And so if you join me on live tomorrow, so like I said, so you can join me on live through the YouTube channel, or you can, <laughs> if Facebook will allow you to find me in the group, I'm going to be doing it in the group as well, but that's the, uh, the YouTube link. So I will, so if you're not in the Holistic Wellness Lounge um, or in the Inner Moon um, energy group. Those are the two groups that I'm actually going to be going live into. Bonjour, Melissa. J'ai tiré ta carte. I don't remember what it was, though. Mais j'ai tiré ta carte. But I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. So it's going to be Moon Talk tomorrow at um, 8 p.m. Did you find the book? No, I didn't. I didn't even look for it. So, because um, I know that you had said that you had found it. And I don't even remember what the name of the book was. I'd have to go back and look at my note. Um, I do have it on a note somewhere, but it has been a little bit crazy. So if you put in the um, note in here, then let, I mean the name of the book in here, then that'll help me to know what it is. So I will have a great day, Lunar friends. Once again, thank you, Rolly. Get some honey tea into you, girl. The journey home. Okay, I'm going to go back and look for that one again. Um I'm going to do that right away because if I don't, then I'm going to get tied up with the rest of my stuff and then I'm going to forget. So I wrote it on here and I'm going to do that right now um, and see if, um, but then I'm also going to see if I can get Brooke to find it, um, to bring it in. So I will chat with everybody later and some honey tea. I don't know about honey tea. I don't drink sweet tea. So, um, <laughs> but maybe a spoonful of honey, but it's not my, cause like right now, Tina, I'm good. So it was while I was pulling up people's cards that my throat was going um, like that. And it was doing that yesterday too, when I had a client. So it was only happening while I was dealing with the clients yesterday. And then the rest of the day, it was fine. So, um, so I don't know necessarily that I have anything specifically for myself that's going on, but I sometimes pick up on other things that are going on for other people. And so I think that might be the issue. So anyway, I will chat with all of you guys later. Bye for now.